let's solve over x solve for x over the interval from 0 to 2 pi including 0 for this problem it looks really complicated but if you look carefully those two terms have a cosine 3x and when I factor out a cosine 3x I get left with sine squared x plus cosine squared x and this turns into 1 now always whenever you do this kind of thing and you like lose an entire factor when you're done make sure you plug your answers in and make sure that they work because sometimes you get some goofy stuff going on like you were never really allowed to use that for instance x um, well I don't know if it would in this case matter or not but always check your answer whenever you eliminate something entirely from an equation when you're done check your answer to make sure it works and it's not an extraneous solution All right so here here's what I have now I have the cosine of 3x equals 1 half and it looks very simple but it's actually kind of a complex topic here what I need to do is think about the equation like it said cosine of u equals 1 half but notice that I'm, I'm looking for my answers between 0 and 2 pi because of this 3 right here I have to go around instead of 0 and 2 pi I have to go to 6 pi I have to go to 3 times as much that's how I like to think of it and I'll show you why in a second but for now let's just think in our unit circle when does the cosine equal positive 1 half in one revolution around the circle it equals positive 1 half there and it equals positive 1 half there actually I should have circled the radians so pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3 so u equals pi over 3 5 pi over 3 but now add 2 pi to both of these and then add 4 pi to both of them that's three times around the unit circle why am I doing that? You're going to see in just a second. When I replace, what did you really, what did I substitute u for? 3x. When I replace 3x for u, what happens? What's, what does pi over 3 become? It's not pi over 3 anymore. Now it's what? Pi over... Pi over 9. 9, right. Pi over 9. So what, in other words, pi over 3 was what was what u equal, but what did x really equal? It equals pi over 9. And where's pi over 9 at? It's right here. So I'm barely started. What happens when I divide this by 3? I get, I get pi over 5 nine. pi over 9. And then I get, remember, what's 2 pi? That's like, that's like um, 6 pi over 3. So this becomes 7 pi over 9, because when I add 2 pi to 1 pi over 3, I get 5 pi over 3. When I add 2 pi to 5 pi over 3, that's 6 pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 3, I get 11 pi over 3. But now it's 11 pi over 9. Where's 11 mm -hmm. pi over 9? It's barely over 9 pi over 9. You see what I'm saying? So you've got you're going around the circle a lot slower because of this three right here. Remember what that yeah. three does? It shrinks your graph. So your graph, let's let's look at your sine graph. Your sine graph normally goes like this. That's what it normally goes in two pi. That's one full revolution. But now the period of your graph, um, you remember the period equals two pi over b, and now b is 3x. 3. So your period is 2 pi over 3. In other words, it's going to get, it's going to do this revolution right there. And then it's going to do another one right there. And then it's going to do another one right there. So it's going to go three times between 0 and 2 pi. It's going to make three full revolutions. Is that, you tracking with that? And that's the reason that you're doing this. That's the reason when you see a 3 there, you go around, the, instead of thinking of going around the circle once, you think of it about it going around the circle three times. Because you're because when you divide out that three, it's going to still give you a, a number that's in this range that they're looking for. Yeah. So what's four pi? Four pi is 12 pi over three. 
So add 12 pi over 3 and 1 pi over 3, you get 13, 13. pi over 3. And, and 12 pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 3 is, sorry, not over 3, now it's over 9, right? 17, 17 pi over 9. 17 pi over 9 is still smaller than 2 pi. 2 pi is 18 pi over 9. Yeah. So all six of these are still within your, your sorry, your range that they were looking for, your domain in this case, actually. Okay, yeah. They're, uh, I shouldn't use the word range. They're all in your domain. They're all still part of the domain that they've limited for you. And so that's how you solve that problem. And then, like I mentioned earlier, plug those numbers in and make sure that they work. And um, they all will work as long as none of them are undefined. And cosine and sine are not undefined anywhere. So it was more like with a tangent that you'd have to worry about that. So those are your answers.